Alright, so hey everybody, this is a video describing my healer build for patch 22 and the daily op system in the game. So yes, if you don't know, with patch 22, basically, damage of legendary effects and in general was severely nerfed. As well as they added uh, level scaling to the game and the new daily ops. And before this, basically making a healing build, a healer build, for group play was kind of worthless. It just because how fast everything died. But with the new system, this kind of lets you make a healing build now. You can make a healer and stuff like that. And so here's my build for that. We'll go over, we'll go over the, uh, the gear first. So what you're going to want is the solar armor set. Uh, if you don't know, this is basically the only healer armor in the game. See, you, uh, I don't have it currently modded, but I'll get that eventually. Uh, yeah, solar armor. You need all five pieces. You need five pieces. So the chest, the l both legs, both arms. And what you'll need is, you know, all five pieces. Five out of, uh, set bonus, five out of five. Regenerates health for you and your teammates while your health is above 60%. So you can't be a bloodied build and use solar armor. Because obviously being above 60% is worthless for bloodied. And the effect won't work if you're at the bloodied threshold of what, like 20% I think bloodied players play at? But yeah. So, that's the armor you'll need. Um, for weapons, it doesn't really matter. However, I recommend using uh, launcher weapons. Um, because you're not focused on combat, and because damage was severely nerfed, these launcher weapons are actually very good in daily ops. Like, this auto grenade launcher I've been using, because there's so many enemies grouped up, you can just keep launching the grenades at them, like, and you'll hit, like, you know, ten, ten people at once. It's, it's, especially if you have an instigating one with a, you know, ten percent damage while aiming. <laughs> it's pretty, this, this is a pretty good weapon to use if you're not going to be focused on combat. Plus, it goes really well with, uh, some perks in here. So, yes, here's the perk build. We'll get into legendary perks after this. So, we have strong back, just because you need to carry more, you know, you're carrying a lot of stuff. Uh, traveling pharmacy to make your meds weigh even less, me your meds and chems weigh even less. Uh, bear arms to make the heavy weapons weigh less because if you don't know, like the launchers all count as heavy weapons, I believe, even the M79. Uh, Ordnance Express just to make the explosives weigh less. Uh, Grenader to make your grenades better. Uh, Ghoulish just to heal you up. To this will help heal you to 60%. Um, you know, so you're getting that, so you're you're keeping that set bonus active. You have to keep that set bonus active. Uh, solar powered because during the day, plus some strength is not bad. Like, uh, adamantium skeleton so your limbs aren't breaking, so you're not using a stem pack to try and heal your limbs up. You know, wasting them on yourself. Uh, sun kissed because it removes radiation damage. Now you can replace this. You can get rid of this and kind of switch around some of the legendary perks. Um, we'll get into this. Party Girl, because it goes really well with Quack Surgeon. Quack Surgeon lets you revive people with alcohol uh, instead of using a stim pack. And if you have a Collectron that collects alcohol, it's really easy to acquire that. Uh, Strange in Numbers, because mutations, yeah, you, you can share that if you want. Team Medic, obviously you're going to need this. This is probably one of the best things for a healing build. Your stim packs heal, you know, your teammates. Whenever you use a stim pack, it heals everybody. Alternatively, I guess you could farm stim pack diffusers. However, I don't think that's a very like good way to do a healing build. Uh, travel agent, just because. And then we have suppressors and tenderizers. Now these work really well with um, the explosive weapons because you're you can apply this to multiple enemies at once. Like you know, suppressors reduce targets damage output by thirty percent. All right, that's pretty mediocre on one on one enemy. However, if you're launching the explosive into a group. I believe all of them will be suppressed, so you, you're, you're letting your team take less damage, and then this is letting your team take, or do more damage. Uh, first aid, because, you know, healing is important. Uh, Demolition Expert, because it goes really well with the launchers. Uh, White Knight, because I don't <laughs> want to repair anything. I guess you could put something else in here. Yeah. And then for luck... We have Luck of the Draw, Lucky Break, both of these on rank 1, uh, Class Break and Starch Genes, go with the mutations. Uh, now for the legendary perks. You could probably change some of these around, and if you are level 300, um, I'm going to say 
there is a one that you want to pick. Uh, ammo factory, um, because making ammo is important. Maybe not so much for a healing build, however, it's still good to have that. Uh, these two, because explosions, and I, this is an explosive build as well as a, uh, you know, healing build. Brolin chemist, um, you can remove this. I thought that you could share the chems that you got from this, but you can't. You cannot drop the chems from this, so this could be removed. Uh, legendary luck, because, uh, more luck to add in. Luck of the draw and lucky break. And then, if you wanted to add something else, um, like, if you wanted to, like, I would rep replace Brawling Chemist with the, uh, What Rads perk, because that lets you replace, uh, so Sunkiss. Like, you can free up Sunkiss, I don't know, for something else, like, uh, Chem Fiend. Yeah, Chem Fiend. I would probably do that. Like, I would probably get rid of Sunkiss for Chem Fiend. However, you know, I, I've kind of messed up. So yeah, we'll get into a daily op, and you can see how this build kind of works. This auto grenade launcher.
Ugh! <sighs> 